because pictures are worth a thousand words, I'm going to show you the situation of why trying to run a, an emulator to emulate a Sun 2 at the current moment in time, which as of right now is July 26, 2020, uh, 2024, is a bit of a crapshoot. Uh, we're going to be using uh, the NME version of uh, TME here, which is 0.12, uh, the latest release candidate, which is RC12 at this point, which was released in March. And when we take and boot, this is on my high DPI display. This is 3840 by 2160 pixels here. And this video is being recorded in, 12K, in 4K. You can see pretty much immediately here that this produces a very unusable display, setting up various different uh, scales here basically exacerbate the problem. Changing pixel formats, etc., basically just make an absolute mess of the entire situation. It's absolutely completely and utterly unusable in any sense of the word here in this high dpi display now if i take and instead go to uh, a nested display let's go ahead and open one up here that's uh, 1600 by 1200 so that we get enough space for our window here, then I will take and start up a copy of the Motif Window Manager here just so we can have something to launch applications on. Bam, we open an X term and run TMESH in here. We get a different problem. We see the display is okay, and it seems to start out okay, displaying okay, but you'll notice that it seems to kind of be somewhat frozen here until I start doing uh, some display updates here, and then you'll start to see immediately that the display will update if I start doing different things. This is very strange. I click the root menu here, and this thing starts updating. Go figure. I, I, I can't even remotely, this seems to happen uh, regardless of whether or not I have a window manager running or not, which, which window manager I happen to be running, it produces the same behavior. Now, this is pretty much unusable. I'm gonna to try to take and log in as root. I take an update again and oh, look at that. It catches up, but only when I take and cause something else to happen. And I'll run sun tools. And you'll see right here, okay, yeah. It will eventually catch up here, but only if I'm constantly clicking on something here. And because of that, it makes this whole thing extremely unusable. I'm gonna take and go into mouse mode here. Uh, Sure, but it's like nothing seems to be happening. All right, mouse mode, boom, boom, boom. And I'm moving, trying to move the mouse around and practically nothing really happening here. It's completely unusable in any sense of the word. I take two more updates here and oh well, stuff starts to update now. Little bit by little bit. And no, this isn't the emulator simulating just slow moving here. I take and, and do something here and it's like, oh, uh, the thread's getting deadlocked somehow. I don't know. I can't even tell you why this is happening here, but this is completely and utterly unusable at this point in time. Now, if I take and instead, I'm going to take and kill this thing and I'm going to go in and edit. I'll just, I'll, I'll edit it where you can see it. And we'll go and change over to the RFB display. You might think, okay, this might improve things a bit. Well, let's see here. Uh, we'll take and run TMESH. 
Okay, we're listening for VNC connections. Great. Uh, I will run Tiger VNC. We'll go to localhost here, and there's my display. And you're like, oh, well, it looks like it's here, so I'll just start typing. Ew, lagging behind. But you'll see here that the that that this is an improvement, but only just. So stuff's starting to come up. And if I, I'm pressing the right mouse button here. I'm moving the mouse inside the display here and the mouse, and literally you can watch my little puck here just barely visible and the mouse is not updating worth a damn it has ground to a complete freaking halt it is uh, completely unusable for any sort of uh, working display here and it doesn't matter the other VNC clients uh, are even worse in performance so this is the situation here. I've been trying to take for the last several years to get something usable so that I can demonstrate uh, the Sun 2 part of my workstation videos, and I can't because the emulator sucks so badly. So, um, hey, with that, I'm um, going to end it here. Talk to you guys later.